Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be going over our solving systems of linear equation skill. One of our most important skills that we're going to be learning in SAT maths. As this one, it's going to pop up a lot. There are two main ways we're going to be solving these. Make sure to subscribe before we get into that first question. And let's do this. So, elimination is my personally favorite way. So I'm going to be doing that a lot. And unless there's an obvious part where we can do substitution. If you do not know what substitution and elimination are, uh, I suggest going back and refreshing on the skills yourself, but I will be um, using them. So if you just want to watch the video and see if you can understand them more, you're welcome to do that. I'll also be introducing a couple of other ways we can use to solve these um, equations if your brain just doesn't work on test day. So. Let's just start by solving this equation, this question, using elimination. What we want to do with elimination is we want to eliminate one variable. How we do this is that we make one variable, for example, x, and another variable, negative x, so that when we combine, they cancel out. We can do this with 2x and negative 2x. We can do this with negative 3x and 3x. All we need is um, a positive value and a negative value so that when we combine, we cancel out. So as we can see here, um, x is really easy to cancel out. It's two positives for now, but how do we get a positive to a negative? All we need to do is multiply uh, an equation by negative 1. So we need to multiply the entire equation here. It goes from x plus y equals 3 to negative x minus y equals negative 3. I've multiplied everything by negative 1. Now we have that negative x and positive x, so we can now combine these equations. Negative x plus x cancels out. Negative x minus 3y, because plus a negative is just minusing. Negative x minus, no, negative y minus 3y is negative 4y. And then we have negative 3 minus plus negative 9. Yes, so that is negative 3 minus 9. Negative 3 minus 9 is just equal to negative 12. We have negative 4y equals negative 12. How we isolate, we divide each side by negative 4. Negative 12 divided by negative 4 is 3. y equals 3. Now that we have a value, we can just substitute it back into and the, easy, the most simple equation to solve for x. This first equation is really simple, so let's just substitute y equals 3 back in. We have x plus 3 equals 3. We isolate x now. We subtract 3 from both sides. x equals 0. So we have x equals 0, y equals 3 as a coordinate pair, x comma y. Our answer is just 0 comma 3. And these solutions, by the way, are just where these two linear equations intersect with each other. At this coordinate, 0 comma 3. So 0, 3 is the solution to this question. If you guys were really confused and you didn't know how to use a calculator or interpret the solutions, you can just substitute in each of these coordinate pairs, negative 3 for x, 0 for y, into both of the equations. If it makes both of the equations true, then it is a correct answer. All right, 0, 3 is a correct answer with this one. Let's move on to our next question. Consider this uh, the given system of equations, which of the following statements is true. So they're talking about our solutions. The best way to do this is to just solve. So let's solve using substitution here. We can see that both of these variables are isolated. That means that we can just substitute in the second equation for one of these variables. Let's say y. We can see that y is defined in this equation as 3x minus 1. So all we need to do is substitute in 3x minus 1 for y in this first equation to get 2x minus 1 equals 3x minus 1. This is what is meant by when you say set the equations equal to each other. Now all we have to do is solve. We add 1 to each side, cancels out both of our constants, and then we can subtract 2x from each side. We are left with 0 equals x. So x equals 0, we can then just substitute back into one of the equations. Um, first equation is a little bit more simple. We are left with negative 1 equals y. So we have 0 comma negative 1 as our answer, which matches answer choice B because the y is negative. What these 
Answer choices mean by one solution, infinite many solutions, and no solutions. Infinitely many solutions, you'll see an answer when we start isolating, either using substitution or elimination. You'll get to eventually 0 equals 0, 18 equals 18. Just a true statement here, because we know that 0 does equal 0, 18 does equal 18. No solutions, you'll get to a point where we get something like 0 equals 4, or 3 equals 1. We know that 0 does not equal 4, 3 does not equal 1. That is how we can spot out no solutions and infinitely many solutions. One solution is just when we have a coordinate point. In this one, we are left with a coordinate point, so that is our answer. Uh, well, so that means there is one solution. Then we could determine the sign of y. y equals negative 1, so it is indeed negative. On to our next question here. They're just asking us to solve the systems of equations, pretty much, but finding the value of x. Uh, all we need to do is input that value of x, so no coordinate pair here. We can see that x is isolated here, um, but we want to solve for x. So we could either solve for both of them or just solve for x. How we solve for x, we need to isolate the y. So what I would do here, I would isolate the y. This is using substitution, by the way. We can isolate the y by moving over the 7. We are left with y equals x minus 7. And then we can substitute our, our x minus 7 value for y into our first equation. So once we do that, it looks like 2 parentheses x minus 7 parentheses minus x equals 0. Because we just substituted out the y for our expression, x minus 7. Now we can distribute 2x minus 14 minus x equals 0. Combine some like terms. 2x minus x is just x. x minus 14 equals 0. How we isolate x, we just add that 14. x equals 14. And that is all we need. The value of x is 14. So 14 is our answer here. If they were asking for the complete uh, coordinate pair, then we would substitute back in x to one of our equations, and we would find 7 equals y. But that is unnecessary here. 14 is all we needed to do for our answer. All right, last one here. Uh, this time we're finding the value of y. So in order to find the value of y, we need to um, substitute out or eliminate the x variable. So definitely don't eliminate the y variable. Here we have two equations in standard form. Usually when we have standard form and coefficient in front of each of our variables, we need to use elimination. So we need to eliminate our x somehow. How we need to do that, we can think kind of like fractions, how we were finding the common denominator. We just need to find a common multiple between 3 and 2. That is 6. So we would multiply this top by negative 2 and this bottom equation by 3. That way we get uh, negative 6x and 6x, these two opposing uh, values that can then eliminate each other. Uh, so let's go ahead and multiply here. We are left with negative 6x plus 8y equals negative 20. And then our bottom equation, when we multiply everything by 3, we get 6x minus 12y equals 18. Now we can go ahead and eliminate. These cancel out. 8y minus 12y is negative 4y, negative 20 plus 18 is negative 2, negative 4y equals negative 2, we can just divide each side by negative 4, we are left with y equals 2 fourths or just 1 half. So the value of y is 1 half, that is all we needed for this question, and it is indeed the correct answer. If you have any remaining questions, make sure to let me know in the comments. I hope you all have a fantastic day, make sure to subscribe, and goodbye!